Hello there, I'm the Lady of Nemesis, welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. Last time we made our way to the Dead Trenches and the Old Fortress of Bunamar. Here we ran into members of the Legion of the Dead who were fighting the Darkspawn and trying to drive them back. Their leader, Cardal, was surprised at our arrival, but told us we wouldn't find Branca no matter how we searched. And Dauntless, we continued on our way, eventually finding a lone survivor of Branca's expedition, a woman named Haspeth. Haspeth told us the dark secret of what had occurred, then ran off. Following her voice into the deeps, we ran into a horrific monster known as a Brute Mother, the terrible fate of many women lost or taken by the darkspawn into the deep world. We eventually killed it and continued on our way to find the Anvil of the Void. This should be easy enough. Because anywhere, this has to be it. She will not be unprepared. What was that? Let me be blunt with you. After all this time, my tolerance for social graces is fairly limited. That doesn't bother you, I hope. Well, shave my back and call me an elf, Franca! By the stone! I barely recognized you! Ogryn, it figures you'd eventually find your way here. Hopefully you can find your way back more easily. And how shall I address you? Hired sword of the latest lordling to come looking for me? Watch is the only one who didn't mind Ogryn's ale breath. Be respectful, woman. You're talking to a Grey Warden. Ah, so an important errand boy then. I suppose something serious has happened. Is Endrin dead? That seems most likely. He was on the old and wheezy side. A king won't defeat a blight. We've had 40 generations of kings and lost everything. I don't care if the assembly puts a drunken monkey on the throne. Because our protector, our great invention, the thing that once made our armies the envy of the world, is lost to the very dark spawn it should be fighting. The Anvil of the Void. The means by which the ancients forged their army of golems and held off the first archdemon ever to rise. It's here. So close I can taste it. The anvil lies on the other side of a gauntlet of traps designed by Keradin himself. My people and I have given body and soul to unlocking its secrets. This is what's important. This has lasting meaning. If I succeed, the dwarven people benefit. Kings, politics, all that is transitory. I've given up everything and would sacrifice anything to get the anvil of the void. I did not say I couldn't reach it, simply that I have not yet. Every day, trial and error reveal new clues to Keradin's workings. There's only one way out, Warden. Forward. Through Keradin's maze, and out to where the anvil waits. What has this place done to you? I remember marrying a girl you could talk to for one minute, and see her brilliance. I am your paragon. to be mine. They didn't want to help. They tried to leave me. Even my Hespeth. But even she couldn't understand that when you reach for greatness, there are sacrifices. As many sacrifices as are needed.
place. Most of them were dying of the taint already. Some were transforming. I knew what they would become. There would be an endless supply, fresh dark spawn to test the traps. They could still serve me, let me find the anvil. It was the only way.
name is Karen. Once, longer ago than I care to think, I was a paragon to the dwarves of Orzammar. If you seek the anvil, then you must care about my story, or be doomed. Though I made many things in my time, I rose to fame and earned my status based on a single item, the Anvil of the Void. It allowed me to forge a man of steel or stone as flexible and clever as any soldier. As an army, they were invincible, but I told no one the cost. No mere smith, however skilled, has the power to create life. To make my golems live, I had to take their lives from elsewhere. So said my king. I had only intended to use volunteers, but he was not satisfied, and soon a river of blood flowed out of this place. Finally, it was too much. I refused, and so Valtor had me put on the end. No! I entombed myself here to find a way to destroy the anvil. It must not be used again! No! The anvil is mine! No one will take it from me! You! Please! Help me destroy the anvil! Do not let it enslave more souls than it already has! How would you feel to know you've been torn from all the spirits that had come before you, that you would never rest with the ancestors? Why are you listening? We had an agreement. I'm the one you came here to find, not him. Bronca, you mad, bleeding nugtail! Does this thing mean so much to you that you can't even see what you've lost to get it? Look around. Is this what our empire should look like? A crumbling tunnel filled with dark spawn spume? The Anvil will let us take back our glory! No! I cannot allow you to do this! To me, Golems! Defend the Anvil, whatever the cost! Thank you. 
anvil of the void. So sweet. Such power. You found the anvil. Are you happy now? Maybe we could go back to Orzammar, share the good news. Look at it. It was worth it. All of it. The anvil is everything I thought it would be. I... I should have known. I thought that once you had the anvil, you'd be satisfied. Perhaps I could use it now. A reward for defeating Caradin. You wanted a crown, no? Or have you set your sights higher than the petty kings of Orzammar? Then stand aside and I shall forge it for you. Take it to whomever you please. lump of hot metal to go over a couple of empty heads. Now leave. It will take me some time to fully realize the mysteries here. Once Orzammar settles on its petty king, have him send for me. When next you lead your armies against the Archdemon, they will be shielded by a tide of steel men. I hope this makes you happy, Branca. I don't think you understand what it costs to get you here. Oh, stop a ragging it, Ogren. Move on. Find a few whores. Sodding stone, I never thought you'd be the pining type. Now be gone. Long-listed dwarves. Wait, wait, hold on. We honor who have made this sacrifice. Let their names be remembered. Fart me a lullaby. It's a memorial of all the dwarves who became golems. Has to be. If there was some way of getting this back to the Shaper at Norzmar, I bet they'd brown their trousers and pay good gold for it. Probably both. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you next time.